Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla. For those of you who don't know, man, it feel good to be on a camera because I be taking these real long periodic breaks for no reason. No, I'm not going to say no reason. <laughs> There's definitely a reason. Well, this video is going to be about um, my postpartum update. Uh, my baby is about to be two months on the 10th uh, which is in two days and uh, I've never really explained to you guys the postpartum period like here I am having my baby in my in my in my room in the bed that he was made you know what I'm saying on my high horse man postpartum humbled the shit out of me bro like literally because I thought I was somebody you know what I'm saying I thought I was doing something first of all I just want to say that I think that the way you have your baby carries on like it matters you know it affects your postpartum period directly i think that if you have a traumatic birth then you will be more at risk for like things like not being able to breastfeed your baby um postpartum depression you know but what do i know i don't have any of those things thank god like i'm i'm good i don't have postpartum depression i'm able to breastfeed i was able to do everything i wanted to do for my baby um that I planned to do you know he was healthy you know like God worked everything out for me so you know I'm very grateful I'm very happy the minute that I had him she handed me my baby and we I, we kind of like you know switched out he was under me over me and I had to get on the bed and because the cord was still attached the cord was still attached and the placenta was, we were waiting for the next contraction to come. And as soon as she handed my baby, I put him on my boob and he latched on immediately. Like Jackson was a natural and he latched on my boob and then she was stitching me up because that wasn't fun. But I had my baby to distract me. Everybody always like told me about, oh, you know, if you tear, you know, it tears to your butt, blah, 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 blah. Sis, nobody told me that you could tear it up ways, okay? Nobody told me that they had upper tears, okay? And that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> I'm not here to like scare y'all because I totally believe in, you know, like a positive, hearing positive things during your pregnancy but I'm not about to sit here and tell you that the postpartum period was peaches and cream because the shit wasn't all right and I'm not trying to scare you I'm just keeping it 100. The reason why I would have anxiety about having a baby again is not because of having birth or delivering my baby it's it would literally be because of the postpartum period so yeah so she stitched me up because I toured three times at the top and like literally I my lip like stretched so you know you got your little man in the boat right little man in the boat and then you got like your two, you know, paddles, you know what I'm saying? Your two paddles that are on the sides, you know, just in case the motor go out. So, you know, these are two paddles on the side. And um, one of my paddles fell off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my son stretched the dog shit out of my coochie, okay? Not the inside, because inside feels normal, okay? But my paddle, sis, that's connected to my little man in the boat, you know what I'm saying? It fell off like this. Okay. Um, and that's never going to be the same. So, I'm okay with that. The only person that has to see my vagina is my husband. He don't care. I call him my little penis. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? We good. Okay. Um, she was stitching me up. And because I had three little tears, I only needed like three stitches. Literally, she numbed me with lidocaine. And I really couldn't feel it all that much because I had, um, well, I could feel the lidocaine. And the lidocaine really didn't numb it for real, for real. It just kind of felt like a prick. And then when she did the stitch, it felt like a prick. So I felt like I got double prick for no reason. Um, but yeah. So then she left us alone. The midwife left us alone for like two hours. And she came back and then she, they were cleaning up, you know, everything. Because there was just so much stuff. JoJo claims that my house smelled like salt and pepper. It just <laughs> smelled smell like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to be behind the camera, bro. What are what? you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I just describe it as earthy smell they were like doing whatever they did with the placenta because I didn't want to keep it because I didn't do my research on placenta encapsulation and I just didn't want to mess with that because I didn't do my research and about two hours she came back weighed them did his vitamin K shot all that other stuff um and then they left and it was just us and the baby. Now, I can say that having my baby at home, the best thing about having my baby at home was I got to take a shower in my own shower. And 
we didn't have to go anywhere. Like, we didn't have to do anything. I could eat whatever I wanted to eat. Like, my dad bought me, bought everybody Waffle House. It was excellent. I can't say I was starving, like a gut-wrenching, like, black hole in my stomach starving and I could literally eat anything. Because of the tears, I feel like I had a really, really bad, like everything just kind of felt, and then I'm already queasy at that, okay? So I don't want to look, I don't want to feel, I don't want to touch nothing. I just kind of want to let stuff do what it got to do. Um, even when he was coming out and crowning, I just felt it a little bit. I was like, okay, let me touch it. And then I'm like, okay, that's it, I'm done. You know, I don't want to do no more. And, um, Peeing the first time, burn like shit. The first poop, nobody is gonna tell you this, but the first poop is almost as hard as pushing out your baby, okay? Actually, pushing out my baby was easier than the first poop, okay? It literally felt like a brick was in my ass, okay? And nobody told me about the hemorrhoids neither, sis, okay? Because I didn't know what a hemorrhoid was, sis, before, can, can I preach to you right quick? <laughs> I didn't know what a hemorrhoid was, okay? Until I got pregnant. My third trimester, I got my first one, and it won't bother me, you know, my my bowel movements was regular, you know, it was soft, nice, you know what I'm saying? Good for me. No, after I had my baby, it took me about, I hadn't pooped like maybe a couple of days before I had him. So I was almost positive that I was going to poop when I had him, but I didn't for somehow. Maybe because it was hard as a brick. I was on the toilet sweating so bad. It hurt so bad. Big poop. Big, big, big poop. Like this. I'm <laughs> like this long poop um real hard too hard as a rock it was bad um that hurt really really bad and i think on the way coming out it felt like it had like almonds in it or something so like it was like prickly poop man holla if you hear me bro like i'm not it's gonna sit up here and act bougie i'm telling y'all the truth i bought tux pads derma dermal blast spray but i was scared to spray that because i was scared it was gonna burn for some reason so i never sprayed it because i was super like i said queasy i got the tux pads the witch hazel i was even scared to squirt that on me because i thought i was gonna burn i bought um peri bottles you know to to uh squeeze onto my coochie whenever i went to the bathroom and yeah i think that's oh and Depends. A lot of depends. You're going to need a lot of depends. Um, actually, not a whole lot. Just maybe like, I only bled for like the first week. And then the second week came that brown stuff that came from hell. Because it stinks so bad. Oh my God. I think it starts with an L. It does start with an L, but I don't know how to pronounce it. And I don't want to make myself sound dumb. So I'm just, this is the word. I bled for like, 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 like red blood for like two weeks and then, I mean for like, maybe like 10 days. And then the second week, another, the other 10 days was like the brown stuff that smell like garbage can. What's that? I'm filming, babe. I think you're giving to me. What is the matter? What is wrong? What? Why are you so pissed off? Why did your daddy piss you off? Did your daddy piss you off? letting this baby play you. I want some of that titty milk. I need some of that milk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then after that, the bleeding stopped. So like week three, I remember the bleeding stopped completely. What was that? <laughs> I was good. I wasn't wearing any panty liners. I wasn't wearing any pads. No depends. No nothing. And then like week four hit me and I started bleeding like red blood heavy clotting and it was weird and I was like wait I know this is not my period because they claim that if you exclusively breastfeed that you shouldn't see a period well you're not like you if you're lucky well I guess I'm just not lucky and that train skipped me too. Well, I don't know though. We'll see in two days. If I get my period, I get my period. If I don't then that wasn't my period but we don't, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I bled for like seven days after that. No, 10 days. And it was like consistent bleeding 10 days. The whole, the whole 10 days. And for my period, my period usually lasts the first two days. I bleed really, really heavy and I cramped. There was no cramping that was done in that. So I have no idea what that was. I felt a lot of pressure when I sat down. I felt a lot of um, 
my butt still don't feel the same. I like, you know, a lot of stuff just really don't. It's never gonna be the same. I'm okay with that though. Right after I had him, my stomach went down a lot. I actually was 2:30 when I delivered when I had my baby, and um, I got down to 191, 190, something like that. I'm not gonna talk about that for real. Um, as far as postpartum depression, I don't, I don't feel any of that. I feel fine. Like Miles was amazing. He had 21 days off. He was amazing the whole time. And then me being here with my family just made it so much easier. To be honest with you, if I didn't have my family, I would probably be really, really, really messed up. I would probably be really depressed. JoJo came over here all the time. Like she lived over here for Jackson's first month and until she went off to school. And my mom came over here all the time doing her baby whispering stuff. I'm gonna just tell you right now, sis. Your mom, when you have your baby, your mom's gonna know how to do stuff better than you, okay? And she's gonna make you look bad, cause she makes me look bad every single time. I'm like, mom, he don't sleep like that. And then like two seconds later, like he'll be asleep. And he'll be sleeping like that for like hours, you know? Get my baby. Yeah, that's what she says, get my baby. And she go, hey teapot. Um, and my dad was over here all the time, oh my gosh, helping me do everything, and he was amazing, and I just had a really good postpartum period, like, everything was just, everything was just good. Every time somebody came over here to visit Jackson, I finessed the hell out of a Chick-fil-A salad every single time, okay? <laughs> every single time. Hey girl, when you only were here, can you just stop at Chick-fil-A on the way and bring me a Cobb salad? <laughs> Because what? What is cooking? So do not let people come over and see your baby without bringing you nothing. Laundry was so built up. I didn't even have no dishes to do because I won't cook or nothing. And um, that was the worst part. So I ended up having to hire a housekeeper because it's just not enough hours in the day to do stuff, especially breastfeeding. Like sometimes Jackson eat every two to three hours, but sometimes he eat and then he hungry like 30 minutes later. I'm never away from my baby. And, uh, yeah, so, it was either a housekeeper or a nanny, and I don't trust nobody with my baby, so it will, a housekeeper will have to do. Me and Miles tried to have, uh, we tried to do a, like, four weeks postpartum. I feel so envious of girls who, I was just recently with somebody, and she told me that she had sex three days after she had her baby. Girl, what? I didn't even want panties on my coochie three days after I had my baby. Like, what? What happened? How did you do that? How did you do that? I thought that because, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't giving birth in a traditional position that I wasn't going to tear a lot, okay? No. <laughs> Bloop right off the hours, okay? Bloop. <laughs> because I did. And that was a big fear of mine. But I also believe that if you are afraid of anything, it will happen. You have to release all fears before you have birth for it not to happen and that's the only fear that I didn't release and because I was so scared at first when I first decided I was going to do a home birth I'm like what if something goes wrong what if this what if this were this I just let it all go and I was just like whatever I trust this I trust my body you know healthy people have healthy babies it's cool I'm not going to say healthy people have healthy babies because things can't happen that are out of your control but I don't have a I'm not at high risk of having an unhealthy baby or you know what I mean? There was no problems, you know? Or like indications that something would be wrong when he came out. Um, so... Damn. Sex. Oh, yeah, sex. So... You need medicine. <laughs> sex. The girl had three days. Oh, three days, three days, three days. So, um, but me and Miles waited four weeks, and it, it was literally just like a, like a, like a, like a, you know, like a real quick, like in and out thing, you know, because I just wanted to see, both of us just wanted to see the difference, and, um, he said there was really no difference, but now that I feel completely healed, other than I have this really weird sensation, I think I might got like a mild prolapse, but that's just me and Google diagnosing myself, and like a bladder prolapse urine prolapse or something something that i google i don't really know i just was googling stuff but it it sounds like that's what i got um but everything feels completely normal and honestly like the difference between having a big old belly oh my gosh i'll insert a picture for y'all the day before i gave birth my belly looked prosthetic and it felt prosthetic and 
it just you just feel immobile like you can't move like how you used to so when you drop that baby and your belly go back down and you just be like okay i can move no say what you want me to do okay you just be like ooh, okay like it just feels what you're different <laughs> it just feels so good to be able to move yeah everything actually things feel a little you know what i'm saying call me so i can make a jersey for you you know a little bit more you know what i'm saying a little different okay yeah if you catch my drift <laughs> so, i can see how people have babies back to back it's really hard not to get you know what i'm saying carried away you know what i'm saying i don't know if we're gonna have kids again in the future i'm gonna tell you this it definitely won't be planned okay it's gonna be another you know whoop pop up you know type thing um the worst part, like, one of the worst parts about it is, like, the postpartum period of, like, you know, people giving you really bad advice. Like, I remember somebody telling me, um, I'm gonna do, like, I wanna do, like, a separate video about, like, the worst advice that I heard while I was, like, with my baby and, you know, after I had my baby and stuff. But she was like, make sure you pump a week before you have your baby so you can have some milk stored up. I was like, okay. Bitch, that don't work. You ain't even... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I ain't even got no milk. I ain't even got no milk until he come out. I ain't even got no milk until three days after he come out. I got colostrum and you can't pump that out, okay? Anybody tells you to pump right after you have your baby, it's a damn lie, okay? Lash that baby. Ain't no reason why you should be pumping right after you have that baby. Put him on the boat, okay? Put him on the boat. People's pushy comments are kind of like really annoying. Like people just talking, kind of trying to tell you. It's really hard because, you know, especially like with family, you don't want to offend them. You know, it's like, oh, folks been having babies for years. And it's like, okay, well, this is mine. And you know what I'm saying? I want to do this, you know, my way. Okay. Um, don't shoot me, you know. It's kind of like walking on eggshells a little bit with like, especially like older family members and people wanting to touch your baby. I got definitely got like the first mom syndrome. Like I know I do because wash your hands don't touch my baby without no hand sanitizer don't kiss my baby don't breathe in his face i don't you know like i'm just totally first time mom in it um yeah but don't want to leave my baby with nobody and my mom always says like girl ain't nobody gonna keep him i'm like so <laughs> i don't want nobody to keep him either <laughs> it's my baby you know i i think that is it for my postpartum period okay my boobs are bigger my booty's bigger. My stomach's bigger. I can see my collarbones again, though. So that's good. <laughs> um, Your head is big. My head big. My braids dookie. You know what I'm saying? Everything is just kind of like, you know. We about to see what his hair looking like. Soon. Oh, yeah. Cause I got, I haven't, I haven't, I, I got a hair appointment on Wednesday to get my hair braided. I'm gonna film a video about my postpartum shedding for you guys if, um, I'm not gonna say if I can because I'm gonna do it, but I haven't been taking my prenatals like I'm supposed to. I switched to a postnatal vitamin and vitamin D supplements that my baby can't sleep. But when I don't take them, my baby sleeps like 10, 12, sometimes 13 hours at night. It's kind of weird. Um, but my baby sleeps through the whole night. Sometimes he'll sleep through the whole day like he did today, which will probably be up tonight like how he is right now. I had to switch. I haven't been taking my prenatal vitamins that often because uh, I left them in the car and they melted. And the gummies was nasty. <laughs> Dude, I went to Target yesterday to get some more. Didn't have any. So, um... <laughs> I'm taking the Ollie prenatal vitamins. Those are the only ones that are good to me. All the rest of them are gross. And, um, yeah. So, we'll see how this shedding is looking. I know I got a couple dreadlocks, a couple dookies, a couple dry scalps, you know. There's a lot of stuff going on in this wig. But I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna get it right, okay? So, yeah. Alright, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Follow Jackson's Instagram at jackson.chase should have named my baby ace because i really really like that name now i should name him his whole first name to be ace girl bye you don't like that name no ace. <laughs> maybe i've been watching so much ace family <laughs> um okay